Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. I am Amy with Growing Your Faith and today I have a wonderful video for you and I am so excited. I have been waiting on this for months and I am super excited. I got it the other day and I want to walk through it with you and kind of show you the brand new Inspire Illustrating Bible. This Bible is so awesome. Um, there's some really cool differences um, from the other illustrating Bible. Well, one of the hugest things being that it has the pictures and images in it, but um, it, it's it's so much more than what I thought it was going to be. Um, and I'm super, super happy with this. The first thing that I noticed is it's huge. <laughs> this Bible is so big. Um, so it comes in this nice um, hard cardboard with this... Um, plastic cover over the top. Um, I think one of the things that kind of first surprised me is the cover is kind of leathery. So it's a flexible cover. So that was really nice. I really liked that. Um, and it's huge. I don't know. I don't know how much this thing weighs, but I should put it on a scale seriously because it is very, very, very big. Okay. So um, the spiral binding is really nice. I like it. I love how they have this super long folds here and the angle of these folds is really, really nice. Um, that was super, um, it, it just, it's just gonna make it to where this doesn't get lost inside your, your Bible. Um, so it is made by Dayspring. It is a New Living Translation. Um, it has clear and accurate New Living Translation, more than 300 designs to color, lay flat spiral bound design, thicker pages to reduce bleed through. We'll talk about that in a minute. Four inch wide margin for journaling and creativity. And then it also comes, which I meant to download and look at it, but it comes with what they're calling the Filament Bible app, which is going to connect you to a vast collection of study resources. And I kind of wanted to look into that before um, I did this video and I, I totally spaced because I wanted to kind of give you some information on that, but I, I didn't get that done. So, um, so here we can open it up. You can see I'm going to have to back up. I think I'm going to have to back up a little bit. Okay, so you can see this kind of suede leathery cover here. Um, it's really nice. It feels really nice. It's got a sewn edge around, all the way around the cover, which looks really, really nice. Um, so um, it says that the font is an 8.7 by font size. The dimensions of this is, well, I actually wanted to check and see, because I had two different things telling me two different sizes. So let's just kind of look at that. So from top to bottom, it's nine and a half inches. Without the spiral binding, it's 10 inches. So with the spiral binding, you're looking at close to 12 inches. Um, and then it's two and a half inches thick, though it seems even thicker than that. But So there's some dimensions for you. Um, I tried to look for some information on the weight of the pages. And I could, the only thing that I could find is that they're thicker, they're thicker, they're 75% thicker. Um, I'm not really sure that they, I mean, yeah, they definitely feel a little bit thicker than my regular Inspire Bible. Um, but I will definitely be creating a pen test page um, just to see, like you can see the ink from the other drawings through here. So that is one thing to keep in mind. Um, so that here's your presented to page, um, and then your table of contents. So it's got the books of the Bible and alphabetical listing of them. Then some information on the app. 
a faith reading plan, a hope reading plan, and a love reading plan. So I thought those were really cool. Contributors and credits, Old Testament, New Testament, day spring difference, and a note to the readers. So they've got all of these. Everything's in these cute little fonts, which is really, really nice. Um, I love that they've got drawings even on the title, on these um, listing pages. So you're, here's your reading plan for faith, and you've got faith outline, and then some, and then you could like highlight them in pretty colors as you go through them. Maybe do this as a scripture writing thing. So here's your Old Testament, and they've got, I'm trying to move this coil binding a little bit, so, okay, there we go. So we're actually lay flat here. Um, just beautiful, beautiful pages. Okay, so what is so different and interesting about this Bible is they put their margin in the middle of the page. Now, I'm not 100% sure that I am going to love this, but with the drawings in here, it actually looks really, really good. So there's certain things that may be a little bit harder to journal whenever you're using something like this. You know, like like I love using um, Keys of the Kingdom, Kingdom the, her margins um, kits, and I'm not sure how that's going to work in the middle of this page here. So like I said, it's an 8.75 point font, and you've got text here, and then you've got text here. And, but they decorate these pages so beautifully. I won't take you through every page of this because <laughs> we'd be here for a long time. But So here's a blank page. And you can see how this nice, they've got a really nice wide margin. Let me, um, their ad said, well, one of them said four and the other said three and three quarters but it looks like it's a full four inch margin, which is really great. So this is gonna be really great for taking notes, but it's also going to be really great for doing um, any of your art that you want to do inside here. So here's some more of the pages. They have just got some, and then some word art here. I mean, these are just really, really nice art pages. And they do have um, quite a few of them that are blank for you to, to use. So it's not like um, they're all decorated, but they do have a lot of decoration in here. Okay, so let's see. Um, thicker than normal Bible paper, beautiful artwork and line. I'm reading off the back of the box here. Wide margins with blank space for note taking, journaling and drawing. High quality white paper to enhance readability and bright pure display of added color. Um, so these are definitely more white than their other illustrated Bible. I don't think they're like, they're not like white, white, like real white. Um, you can, I don't know if you can see the difference between those two in here, but um, they definitely look whiter than their, the other um, Inspire Bible that I have, which is nice because then in your images, they won't turn out quite as like yellow. Okay, so I'm going to read the back of the box here to you while I kind of flip through a couple more of these pages. The NLT Day Spring Inspire Illustrating Bible features more than 300 ready-to-color designs inviting you to interact with the Word of God in a unique and refreshing way. With each of the illustrations reflecting one of the themes from 1 Corinthians 13.13, 13, you will be able to express your creativity while focusing on what it means to be strong in your faith, have a heart filled with hope, and take a posture of unconditional love. Linger longer in the Bible and spend time with God as you enjoy the relaxing benefits of coloring and creative journaling. Plus, this Bible includes access to the Filament Bible app, which contains a wealth of resources to enhance your Bible reading experience. And then the Filament Bible app comes with two, uh, two, 25, 
25,000 plus study notes, 350 plus videos, 40 plus maps and infographics, 400 plus profiles and articles, 1500 plus devotions and more. This app sounds amazing. I think if I read it right, oh, there's a page in here that talks about it. Um, they talk about how, I don't know how I missed it. Did it say it was in the front? Maybe it was in the back. Where's that table of contents? Um, it is, um, you can scan the page number. Where did it go? Welcome to your filament A10. Oh, here we go. I skipped it because I was looking at this page. Okay, so welcome to your filament enabled Bible. The Bible works with the filament app, which uses your phone or tablet to transform the Bible into a powerful study and devotional experience. Why use the app? The app illuminates and amplifies every single page of the Bible. By simply scanning the page number, it instantly delivers helpful in-depth content centered on the passage you are reading. Study notes, devotionals, videos, profiles, interactive maps, and more enable you to get the most out of your time in God's Word. I mean, that's just really, really, really great for them to give such a great resource um, to go along with this Bible. I just love it. All right, so let's take a look at the back end here and see what we've got going on. Oh, I'm just in love with this Bible, y'all. I have wanted an illustrating spiral bound Bible for a while, but they were so expensive. I mean, whenever the first one came out, I remember it being like over a hundred dollars. And I was like, um, yeah, I can't do that. <laughs> but this one I got on sale. Um, and, and I think I had a coupon for it too. So, so then they've got a note here in the back and then a note to the readers from the publishers. And then what I really, really like is they've got a couple of blank pages here, which are probably pages that I am going to turn into pen test pages. So I'll have a regular pen test page, but then I'm also going to have a pen test page that has some gesso on it. That way um, you can kind of see both. You can see it, how your pen works without the gesso and how your pen works with the gesso, how your color, watercolors work without the gesso and then with the gesso. It just really helps you know what to put in your Bible and what not to put in your Bible so that you don't wind up with a whole bunch of bleed through on other pages. Um, there, It's all fixable, but at the same time, you know, like we don't, we don't want to make mistakes if we don't have to. Um, the one thing that I'm going to find interesting in this is trying to figure out how to do like inserts. Um, maybe you can, if you've got a, um, a one of those hole punches, you can punch holes and then clip them. I don't know. We'll try and, and see how that goes. So that is a peek inside the book, inside this Bible. If you have any questions, you can put those down in the comments below and I will try to answer those for you. <laughs> this is so huge. It's so crazy. Um, and I will try to get those answered for you. Um, I will have a link where you can purchase this down in the comments below. This is also the, I'm going to start using this right away. We have, um, on Tuesday, the 10th and then Wednesday and Thursday, the 11th and 12th is the Bible journaling ministries conference, their Bible journaling conference. And the title is the armor of God. So while I'm going through those classes and they're teaching lessons and everything, I am going to be putting that stuff in here, which is very nerve wracking because it's a brand new Bible. Um, but um, I feel like with somebody walking me through <laughs> something, maybe I won't mess anything up. I don't know. Um, but I'm very excited to kind of dig into this Bible. Um, this is only my second journaling Bible. So this um, right here is my first ever journaling Bible. This is the only one I've ever had. Um, I don't 
Bible journal every day. Um, I do Bible study every day. I Bible journal when I have the time um, because to me, studying God's word is so, so very important. And that's where I spend the majority of my time. But I do love Bible journaling. I love um, the art and how relaxing and peaceful that is. And I love spending that time with God. Um, but Bible study is where I focus the majority of my attention. But um, but yeah, so I've been Bible journaling for quite a few years. And this is only my second Bible. So I'm really, really, really excited about this one. Anyway, um, I hope that you all enjoyed this peek into this beautiful, beautiful Bible. If you, again, like I said, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. And I will try to get those answered for you as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.